After two opening rounds at two brand new venues, the Powerboat P1 competitors almost feel like they're coming home. Because this weekend sees the fifth running of the Powerboat P1 Maltese Grand Prix of the Sea. Malta is at the crossroads of the Mediterranean Sea and it's becoming an increasingly popular destination with tourists. Not just those popping in off the constant stream of cruise liners that dock here, but also for an increasing number of people discovering not only a great climate, but also a very rich heritage that this small island cherishes. But the history being made right now is powerboat racing history because a boat built right here in Malta by a small family concern is dominating the super sports class of the Pabo P1 World Championship. Charlie Chantar started building boats 20 years ago, naming the company after his three children, Charlotte, Aldrienne and Aaron. Chaudron. Aldrienne and Aaron used to compete together in the Pabo P1 super sports class, gaining several podium places in their family-run boat but it was a customer boat driven by Italian Angelo Tedeschi that won them their first World Championship last year. So, when the offer came for Aaron to join Angelo for this season, it was one he couldn't resist, and one he certainly not regretted as the Chaudron boat Cone of Yachts has swept to three wins out of four. The Chaudron factory lies just five miles east of Valletta in Zabar, from where they produce up to 20 boats a year, and display the typical Maltese tradition of never throwing anything away. And built in that very same boatyard, it was Conham Yachts that quickly took the lead in the first supersport race in Marseille. Silverline Butsi Bullet and VoomVoom.com fought over second place until they both retired. Butsi Bullet with electrical problems, while it was an engine problem for VoomVoom.com. That left the way open for Saho to slot into second place and Phoenix 8 into third, despite seriously bending their throttles. But neither could do anything about Aaron Chanta and Angelo Tedeschi in Condom Yachts as they won again. With many keen to stop them in the second race, there was about to be a disappointment for them all once again. The 44 boat powered away to a substantial lead. The plight of the other challengers was not helped by several boats going off course and almost missing a marker boy. With both engines running smoothly, VoomVoom.com took second place with Phoenix 8 in third. But another double victory was about to be written into the P1 history books for Conham Yachts. Penalties were applied to some of the teams after the events who didn't have engine sensors correctly fitted. So there's now 40 points between first and second in Supersport. While Chandron have been dominating the super sports, fountain boats from the more traditional power boating world of North Carolina, USA, have been setting the pace in the evolution class. But a growing number of challengers have been quite literally knocking on their door. Chris Shaw looks back at some of the action from the frantic opening four rounds. Italy started off the new P1 season with Fountain Worldwide first for Boats.com taking the checkered flag twice. It was a scramble for the lead of the first Evolution race in France, with Fountain Worldwide again taking up the reins. There was a racing incident for Fountain Worldwide and Honeyparty.com when the two boats collided, both sustaining damage, but only Fountain Worldwide could continue. Keaton Outer Limits moved up to second place with a fantastic one-third, while Fountain Worldwide raced to a clear win. The sprint race saw the fantastic one and Honeyparty.com battling for the lead, and the two collided. There was another collision in the race between Cranefield's Wine and Centurion Yachts, with the latter limping back to shore with a large hole in the side. Honey Party's leading charge came to an end with a retirement. So then the battle was on for first place and it was once again Craig Wilson and James Shepard that took the chequered flag. Fountain Worldwide left Marseille with the Evolution Championship lead while behind them there's a tie on points for second place. 
The first race of the weekend is for the Super Sports, and after their power pole qualifying session, once again it's Conum Yachts at the head of the field, with by high performance and Saho the nearest to the challengers. Time to join our race commentator, Martin Sanborn. Thank you, Tiff. As the boats make their way out to the race course for the endurance race, we have two boats that were not able to make the call. Number 46, Spirit of Port Tommaso and Phoenix 8, both out with mechanical problems. Let's take a look at the endurance course for the Super Sport class. 10 laps today, 5.67 miles for each lap for a total of 56.7 miles, clockwise rotation with six turns. As we go on board Conum Yachts, they are the current points leaders in the Super Sport division of Powerboat P1. The boats are all lined up based on their power pole positions from Friday's run as we have a green flag and the boats are underway. Bootsy Bullet jumps to an early lead with Conum Yachts on the outside also getting a good run. Conum Yachts has been so strong all year long. This boat runs very well and they're in their home waters here in Malta. As they jump out to an early lead, just pulling ahead of Silverline, Bootsy Bullet, running in third place is Team Saho. That was on board Big Sergio as we look at the fleet making their way towards turn one. In the lead, Team Conum Yachts, followed by Saho, Silverline, Bootsy Bullet. Oh, and Silverline, Bootsy Bullet hits a bump, lays the boat sideways, but great recovery. The drilling is too high for the top. That's it. That was on board Voom Voom, and we have a tremendous battle happening right now for second place as Saho and Team Bahia running almost side by side. Bahia about a boat length ahead. These are two Donzies, two different drive configurations. One boat with Bravos, one boat with surface drives. The surface drive is the Bahia boat, and it is pulling away on the shore side. They leave a lot of room for Saho on the outside. You can see it is very rough as they make their way around. This boat running very well. Perfect attitude in the rough water. The surface drive just carrying the boat. Doesn't take a lot of positive trim. This boat running very well in second place, but they're looking at the transom of Conum Yachts out ahead. Getting some big air by he blowing through the waves here in Malta. And back to our leader, Conum Yachts. They have won every race so far this year, and they are out in the lead again here in their home waters of Malta. This boat turns well, it runs well in rough, it runs well in flat. What a great rounded boat. This is a Chadron built right here in Malta. But the battle continues to heat up for second place. The two Donzies running side by side, Bahia and Saho. Bahia on the outside, that is the surface drive boat as we go back on board the Big Sergio. Bahia high performance has continued to leg out just a little bit of a lead. Oh, he hit that wave a little hard on the bow, caused the boat to slow down and jerk just a little bit to the right. That allowed Saho to pull back up alongside on the inside. Saho took the tighter line. And they move back within a boat length as we see Silverline Bootsy Bullet coming around the turn right behind, running in fourth place. Bahia running very well on the shore side right now, about two boat lengths ahead of Team Saho, currently in third place. Back to our leader, Conum Yachts again running beautifully. Every bump they hit, the boat just lays right over, not too much positive trim. They're doing a great job running this boat in the rough waters. Silverline Bootsy Bullet currently running in fourth position. Not where they want to be, but they're in the hunt. Okay, you I need to back off for this, Gareth. That was on board Voom Voom. They're trying to make up ground right now, challenging for that fourth place position. But right now, second place belongs completely to Team Bahia as they have moved out ahead of Team Saho, now currently running in third place. Punches through a couple of waves, our leader, 
Kanam Yachts continues to march out in front. A great sign of how well that boat runs is as she looked over the deck of the boat, the horizon always constant. Team Bahia currently running in second place. Again, this boat also running very well in the rough water. Rough water is the great equalizer. You can take a couple of really fast boats and it really levels out the playing field when they've got to run in rough water. Conum Yachts continuing to lead. Our battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth right now as Silverline Bootsy Bullet on the inside, the big Sergio on the outside. Silverline Bootsy Bullet running very well also. Oh, Saho has had a problem. Running a strong third place. They are out with mechanical problems. Team Saho done for the day in race number one. And now back to our battle for third and fourth place. Team Hustler Voom Voom now challenging Silverline. Oh, Silverline hits a big bump, stands the boat up on its tail, lost a lot of momentum as Voom Voom Hustler moves into third position. That was on board our leader. Here comes Team Bahia. They are still running in second place. Oh, great jump over that bump. Bahia in second place. Boy, you saw the big Sergio just hit a big bump, took a lot of water over the front. They all got wet, and they are also off plane, and it appears they are done for the day as well. Hustler Voom Voom now well into third position. Oh, nice jump. Those guys also flying the boat very well in their diesel-powered Hustler. Mother f They are obviously feeling the bumps, and now they are setting their sights on the second place boat. That is Team Bahia. They are trying to run them down. Team Voom Voom Hustler has moved into third place, trying to reel in Bahia. And our leader continues to be Conum Yachts. They just look like they're easing around that race course. And now the battle heats up for second place. Bahia getting challenged on the outside by Voom Voom Hustler. Voom Voom is making a move. They are now side by side. We are f***ing all over the place. Obviously not happy with how the boat is handling. Feeling it's a little loose. Oh, they got a little sideways over that same bump. Bahia goes right behind the same bump. Trying to make up ground because Bahia has now just dropped to third place with Voom Voom Hustler now in second. Our leader, Conum Yacht, you can see it is rough because they've literally peeled some of the logos off the side of the boats. As he peels off another lap tape, takes a look behind to see how close his competition is. Conum Yachts, they're on their final lap here in Malta. As they cross the start-finish line to take the checkered flag, Conum Yachts gets the win. That's five in a row for Conum in Supersport for P1. Okay, let's take a look at our results in race number one. First place goes to Conum Yachts, second place to VoomVoom.com, third place by EA High Performance. Fourth place goes to Silverline Bootsy Bullet. Unfortunately, Big Sergio and Saho both retired with mechanical problems. I can call this kind of racing uh, survival racing. It's so tough that uh, after five, six laps, you just worry about uh, the boat. So you try to avoid very, very big waves, you try to avoid very big jumps, and keep a uh, high average speed. That's all you have to do. So Conum Yachts have done it again. The question is now, can Fountain Boats worldwide keep up their winning streak when the Evolution Boats head for the sea after the break? Welcome back to the island of Malta, right in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. A sea which is getting rougher by the minute as we await the start of the first Powerboat P1 Evolution class race of the weekend and wonder whether anyone can end the run of fountain worldwide victories. Chris Shaw checks out the form book after power pole and gets to meet an American legend who's been brought over to strengthen the cigarette powerboat's challenge to the fountain domination. 
Renowned throttleman John Tomlinson has achieved so much in power by racing, and he's the latest face wanting to be involved in the P1 Championship. Manufacturers are definitely getting involved and sending boats over from cigarette to skater to outer limits. So when the factories start getting involved and other racers that have been known to race in other venues start getting involved, yeah, it's going to bring, uh, it's going to bring some uh, interest. Centurion Yachts had a major disaster at the last round, but are in Malta looking as if nothing happened at all. Not so straightforward for Lucas All Cintron, who were waiting for an engine which only arrived on Friday, so they weren't ready in time for power pole. Very much suited and at home in the conditions, it was Marco Panisi and Gianpaolo Montevoci that set the third straight Evolution power pole in GFN Cibolato. It was much closer for power pole this time, with Fountain Worldwide first for boats, only fractions away from GFN Gibellato, and it was HoneyParty.com that was third. Time then to join our race commentator, Martin Sanborn. Thank you, Tiff. As the boats are led out by the P1 pace boat, it has gotten rougher here for the endurance race for the Evolution class. These guys like rough water, but it's going to be hard on the equipment here in Valletta, Malta. And let's take a look at the race course for the endurance race in Evolution. A shortened race course with 10 laps due to the rough water, 5.67 mile lap for a total of 56.7 miles, clockwise rotation with six turns, just like the Super Sport. As we go on board Keaton Outer Limits at the start, you hear those Mercury Racing 715s making all that horsepower as we get ready for the green flag. And they've got a big jump at the green flag. Keaton Outer Limits way out in front, but we have a problem with GFN Giabolato. Boy. Porco Dio che macello, non so che cazzo fai. Vai, vai. Off to a good start. Second place right now. Fountain Worldwide first for boats.com. Cranefields Wise and Centurion yacht side by side as Cranefield Wines blows through the waves. You get a chance to see just how rough it is as the water blowing off the side of the boat. Here in Valletta, Malta, very rough on the start of the race in Evolution, but the boat way out in front. Keaton at her limits, looks like they might have got a little bit too much of a jump, but the boat is running beautifully. Normally you'd think they've got this clean water, but you know there is no clean water out here. You can see it is white capped, and the big margin they have right now over second place. Oh, and the other Metamarine boat is out, number 76, Italicraft, with a problem on the first lap. Two skaters side by side, Pignolo 53 carrying a lot of speed as they get by Lucas Oil Centron. Lucas picking up a new sponsor with Centron. Mercury Racing Boat versus an Ilmore boat. Pignolo 53 Ilmore gets by Lucas Centron. Moving into third place. And back to our leader way out in front, running very well right now. Keaton, outer limits. Carving a big turn, you know, it makes a difference. You got a little extra length. Oh, nice bump. As we go on board, you see just how bumpy it is. Honeyparty.com squares the turn off, trying to make up as much ground as they can. Trying to reel in this boat, the leader, Keaton, outer limits. Running it very flat, flying over the tops, not letting the nose get up. Great control. Length makes a difference in this rough water as we take a look at Pignolo 53, a 39-foot skater powered by Ilmores. As the fleet all makes their way up course, Pignolo 53 on the outside as we take a look on board Cranefield's wine again. You see just how rough it is. Water breaking very high up the side of the boat as they make the slight left-hand dogleg turn. Honeyparty.com, another skater. This boat running cheap, 750s and surface drives. GFN Giabolato has got themselves back running again, Fountain Worldwide. They are the current points leaders and the defending world champions in Powerboat P1. 
First for Boats.com Fountain Worldwide, not where they want to be. These guys have a tendency to run strong at the end of the race, but they got a long ways to go to catch this boat out in the lead. Oh, Keaton Outer Limits trips it over a wave, but gets right back in control. That aft pacing view really shows you how rough it is. Oh, Lucas Oil has a problem right out of the gate. Early in the race, Lucas Oil's broken and done for the day. Lucas Oil Centron off plane. They've had a very tough start to the season here in P1. Looking at our leader, Keaton Outer Limits, Mercury powered Outer Limits. Again, running very well. The length of this boat really helping out in the rough water. It turns very well, even in the rough. Love the sound of those supercharged Mercuries. Oh, gets a little bit of air. You saw the boat rock a little bit. That gets dangerous. And here we have our side-by-side -side battle happen in Fountain Worldwide first for boats.com. On the left of your screen, on the right, honeyparty.com. Both of those boats, you see just how rough it is as they're coming right at you. Both of the boats, perfect ride attitudes. As they hop along the water, not a lot of bow up activity, which is very good. Oh, Fountain, for, Fountain Worldwide gets a big bump. You see the huge spray coming off every wave they hit. The key to running these boats in this kind of water is to run a little bit of neutral, not necessarily negative, but neutral trim, have a little bit of tap so that when the boat comes up, it flies flat and you can carry all that momentum. The throttleman is really working today as he's off and on the throttles, making sure he gets right back onto the power as the boat is coming back into water so he doesn't lose any of that critical forward momentum. Fountain Worldwide first for Boats.com, carrying beautiful flat, flying level, as they're currently running in third place behind Pignolo 53. Back to our battle with Fountain Worldwide and Honey Party. Fountain Worldwide just hold them off, and Pignolo 53 about to get past. What a battle we have right now for second, third, and fourth place. Pignolo 53 closest to you on the screen. Found worldwide right alongside them. That's two Ilmore powered boats. On the outside is a Chief 750 powered skater. Pignolo 53 running beautifully right now. Looked in the mirror, saw Craig and James coming up. A little bit more forward throttle as they make their way to the turn. James and Craig dive to the inside. Let's see if they can make up some ground. Fountain Worldwide first for Boats.com. Pulls up alongside Pignolo 53 and moves into second place. Great move by Craig Wilson and James Shepard as they again square off the turn. Pignolo 53 has to go wider than they wanted. And now Fountain Worldwide first for Boats.com moves into second place. Pignolo 53 in third. They went so wide that they allowed HoneyParty.com to come up on the inside. HoneyParty.com now challenging for third place. HoneyParty.com charging. Pignolo 53 getting some big air but flying beautifully. Honey Party on the outside. Pignolo 53 closest to your view on the screen. And GF and Giabalato's got their boat back up and running. This boat should have a huge advantage in this rough water. Ah, ah. Oh, you can hear just how hard they're hitting. Now Pignolo 53 getting challenged by HoneyParty.com. Two skaters, one with Chief Engines, one with Ilmores. Honey Party on the outside is now putting a move on Pignolo 53. But again, Pignolo steps it up. As they see the competition coming, they lose a little bit of momentum on that bump, and here comes Honey Party. They are now side by side. You've got a number six stern drive boat running against a rudder boat on the outside with surface drives. In the rough water, it's probably not much of a difference. A little bit of carry you get, probably maybe a little bit more that you get with the surface drives. But as the boat comes out of the water, you still got that number six there giving you a shove. 
as Pignolo 53 and HoneyParty.com duke it out for third place. HoneyParty.com jets ahead and they move into third by half a boat length. HoneyParty.com has had a tough season so far. Had some mechanical problems, but they are running beautifully right now. Cranefield's wine has dropped off the pace just a little bit. They've also had a tough season. Oh, they get a big bump. Square the boat up, get it right back down into the water. Little bit of nose up attitude as they did that. You saw the horizon went away on that side shot. You can always tell when you got a little bit too much nose attitude. You hit a bump, if you lose sight of the horizon, that is a problem. And here our battle continues as Pignolo 53 has managed to get back a nose ahead of HoneyParty.com. And here comes Honey Party on the outside. And it looks like Pignolo 53 has slowed down. Pignolo 53's got a problem. They are way off the pace as Honey Party gets by. If we go back on board our leader, they are way out in front. Keaton Outer Limits just skipping across the water. Jumping all the way across the waves. Oh, sticks the nose right through the next one. It is very rough here in Valletta. Keaton Outer Limits well out in front after a good jump at the beginning. Here comes our second place boat right now. It is found worldwide first for boats.com. They are the current points leaders and the defending world champions in P1. And coming back after a problem, GFN Giabolato has made up some ground. They are now challenging for third place against Honey Party. GFN Giabolato, a big Sea Tech power boat on the outside of Meta Marine, built in San Benedetto del Toronto, Italy. And they now move into third place just ahead of HoneyParty.com. Here we look at Centurion Yachts. Oh, and we've got a problem. These guys got a late start. They came out onto the race course to get some time. That was a fantastic one. And we have a problem with Mountain Worldwide Birth for Boats. This is not something we see very often with this team. They are way off speed, barely on plane right now. They were in second place. And they are now getting put down a lap by the leaders. That was OSG Keaton, outer limits, way out in the lead right now. has found worldwide first for boats.com has a problem and they are way off the pace and this should be the end the final lap keaton outer limits is going to come by and take the checkered flag for their first win of the season in the evolution class keaton outer limits mercury powered crosses the start finish line to take the checkered flag Let's take a look at our final results for the endurance race. Keaton Outer Limits did get too much of a jump and got a two-minute penalty, but they still walk away with first place. Second place goes to GFN Giabolato. Outer Limits guys uh, are fantastic. They came in, uh, in Malta. They work all the weeks for uh, prepare our setup for this kind of rough water. We definitely had the right setup for today. I don't, I don't know if it just whipped up a little worse than everybody anticipated, but we were set up for, for the rough water and it, and it definitely helped us today. It was the Knights of the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, more commonly known as the Knights Hospitalier, who first brought their famous cross to Malta in 1530. They'd been offered the island as a new home by the Emperor of Rome. They would stay here for 268 years, transforming what they called a rock of sandstone into a flourishing island before Napoleon came along and booted them out. The British in turn ousted Napoleon in 1814 and they would stay in charge until independence came in 1964. With the coast of North Africa, only about 100 miles or so to the southwest, there's plenty of Arab influence as well, especially in their language. So, as you can imagine, there's plenty to discover in Malta. But what we want to discover is can anyone beat Conum Yachts in the Supersports class of the Powerboat P1 World Championship? 
Chris Shaw brings us up to date with the latest news. After a hard race on Saturday, Gareth Williams of VoomVoom.com had more than the usual aches and pains. It was very rough out there and there was a lot of chafing going on. And when I, when I got back to the crane after finishing the race, I took my gloves off and, and found out that there wasn't much skin left on the palms of my hands. The big Sergio took third place when Saho retired, hardly having time to think about a podium before they too retired, but both are back racing today. Time to get the boats out in the water and rejoin our race commentator, Martin Sanborn. Thank you, Tiff. As we look in the pits, we are on board. Conum Yachts, they are definitely the boat to beat, especially here in their home waters in Malta. These guys have proven to be unbeatable all year long, winning every race and every power pull for the Super Sport class in Powerboat P1. Let's take a look at the sprint course for the Super Sport here in Malta. Again, due to the rough water, they've reduced the number of laps to eight on a 4.4 mile lap. It will be 35.2 miles total, clockwise rotation with six turns, including one left-hander. On board, Spirit of Porto Maso, unfortunately, they were not able to make the start in the first race due to mechanical problems. Local built boat here from Malta and Big Sergio getting wet right at the start, caking water right over the bow as the boats line up for the green flag. And we have a green flag. They are off and running into a big jump way ahead of the pace boat is Bootsy Bullet, Silverline, way out ahead. Conum Yachts on the outside looking over, watching the Silverline Bootsy Bullet boat ahead of them as they make their way towards turn one. Third place right now is Voom Voom Hustler with Bahia coming up hard in between. They're trying to move into third place as Conum Yachts moves ahead of Silverline Bootsy Bullet. Conum Yachts, a half a boat length ahead of Silverline, Bootsy Bullet. Bootsy Bullet got a huge jump at the start of the race. That didn't sound right. That sounded like a problem right out of the box for Big Sergio. Bahia getting big air. Actually got the boat a little bit sideways. Everybody flying as they make their way towards the first turn, but well out in front. Perfect control, Conum Yachts continues to lead. Coming in hard on the inside is Voom Voom. Big wash. Silverline, Bootsy Bullet in second place. Conum Yachts rounds the first turn. Coming in right behind them, Silverline, Bootsy Bullet followed by Bahia. Silverline, Bootsy Bullet squares the turn off really cut a lot of distance off where Bahia went very wide. Condom Yachts carried all kinds of speed. They are still going to be the first ones to the second turn. Here's our battle, second, third, and fourth place. Silverline, Bootsy Bullet, Bahia, and Team Hustler Voom Voom. Whoa, big air by Hustler Voom Voom. Silverline, Bootsy Bullet, just a boat length ahead of Bahia. Team Hustler, Voom Voom on the outside. Diesel on the inside, 525 Mercury's in the middle and another diesel boat on the outside with the Hustler. All of them looking at the distant transom of Conum Yachts as Bahia moves into second place, just squeezing by Silverline, Bootsy Bullet. Tight deck to deck battling in the rough waters here in Valletta, Malta. Bahia now into second place. As we see our leader, Conum Yachts, go by, here comes Bahia. Nice turn right on the inside of them. As Silverline, Bootsy Bullet going way wide to the outside is Hustler Voom Voom. Silverline, Bootsy Bullet really running the boat loose. We see a lot of nose up attitude. They hit those bumps, trying to carry as much speed as they can, but they lose it every time the boat comes out of the water. 
Boom Boom Hustler now challenging Silverline on the outside. Silverline, Bootsy Bullet, they've got a good line on the inside. But here comes Hustler Boom Boom. They are going to just nose ahead of Silverline, Bootsy Bullet. Two diesel powered boats. Hustler on the shore side. Silverline side by side with Hustler. They have them by a nose as they head along the shore. Silverline, Bootsy Bullet just edging out ahead of Voom Voom as we go back to our leader, Conum Yachts. As the battle continues, now Voom Voom making a run. Again on the shore side. Silverline, Bootsy Bullet way to the inside of the race course. Oh, and they stand it up on its tail again. Bahia Performance in second place as they try to run down Conum. His first turn is almost a 180. So you really have to get around that turn sharp as we go back to our leader, Conum Yachts. And now we see Hustler trying to reel in Bahia and they get by. Boom, boom, Hustler moves into second place ahead of Bahia High Performance. They knocked off Silverline Bootsy Bullet. Now they move into second. As you can see, they are getting bounced around big time. As you saw Bahia on the inside, inching up. They were trying to find the right setup on the boat. As we go on board Spirit of Puerto Masso, you can see the big area they were getting. That boat was way out of position. He's way off the throttles, trying to keep the boat in the water and regain some control. Not a real good ride. It is very rough out there, and this is one of the smallest boats on the race course. Meanwhile, the battle for second and third place still intense. Bahia climbs up alongside Hustler, but Hustler Voom Voom pulls out ahead again to move back into second place. Conum Yacht still out in the lead. They really just don't look like they're working as hard as everybody else. That boat looks so good running. Silverline Bootsy Bullet running back in fourth place. Here's Silverline Bootsy Bullet. They have managed to move themselves back into second place. Now getting challenged by Hustler, trying to regain the position. Voom Voom Hustler tries to come up inside a silver line Bootsy Bullet. They square the turn off a little too hard. Have to go back, recorrect the position. Voom Voom Hustler now side by side with silver line Bootsy Bullet. Oh, he hooked the boat and it tossed him right out of the boat, pulled the kill switch. Get the kill cord in. Let's go. Now that's a competitor. He got thrown out of the boat, looking to get the kill switch back in. Let's watch it again. He hooks the boat, it pulls him out of the seat, pulls the kill cord off, shuts the motors off. Now he's got to hop back into the seat and replug in. Let's watch it again. Give me, give me, grab me, grab me. And now the battle for second and third is between Bahia and Silverline Bootsy Bullet. Silverline Bootsy Bullet out ahead, but here comes Bahia High Performance as they march right past Silverline Bootsy Bullet back into second place. Bahia High Performance now moves into second place ahead of Bootsy Bullet Silverline. As Conum Yachts approaches the start finish line, they are going to take their sixth consecutive win in the Super Sport class of Powerboat P1, continuing their streak, winning in their own home waters here in Malta. Conum Yachts takes the checkered flag. Let's take a look at the sprint results in Super Sport. First place goes to Conum Yacht. Second place to Bahia High Performance. Voom Voom gets third place because Silverline Bootsy Bullet jumped the start. They are going to get fourth. Spirit of Port Tommaso for fifth place. Big Sergio in sixth.
Yeah, we we hope uh, to win in our country. We win uh, today, so we win the overall. The water was rough uh, yesterday and today, and uh, we managed to win. The boat was okay. Angelo Tedeschi, good throttleman for the rough sea, and we win. He managed to hook it on one of the boys, um, and um, that was it. And anyway, we tried to get back, and there was just no way. And I think um, Bayer beat us by two seconds to the second place. Welcome back to Malta for the final race in what's been a great weekend of offshore powerboating action. The Evolution boats are just about to go out to the start line for the sixth round of their Powerboat P1 World Championship. And Lucas Oil Sintron, a team which didn't have much luck yesterday, is another outfit trying a different lineup as Chris Shaw finds out. Nigel Hook takes over the steering wheel of Lucas Oil Centron with US racer Richard Wyatt taking over the throttles in his first taste of P1. There's some big names. Um, Johnny Tomlinson from the US is here. Um, the Fountain guys are always fast. Uh, but um, from what I hear, any boat can win any day, so it's going to be tough. Time then to join our race commentator, Martin Sandborn. Thank you, Tiff. As the boats make their way out for the Evolution Sprint Race, let's take a look at the race course. Shortened race course once more due to the rough conditions. They will run on a 4.4 mile lap. They will do nine laps for a total of 39.6 miles on this clockwise rotation with six turns, including one left-hander. As the boats line up, based on their power pole time trial positions from Friday, we have a green flag. Keaton outer limits way out front, but coming up hard in the middle, we have the fantastic one and honeyparty.com absolutely flying as they make their way towards the first turn. Oh, you can see the fantastic one just coming into the shot on the tail end of Keaton outer limits as they go flying down the front straightaway. The fantastic one within a boat length of Keaton Outer Limits. The two Mercury powered boats with Mercury Racing 715 horsepower motors. A side by side battle between Cigarette and Outer Limits as they head across the race course. Veteran throttleman John Tomlinson joins the Cigarette team this weekend in Malta from the US substituting in the boat. Outer Limits goes wide. Oh, but he cuts across. He went a little sharper than he wanted. I think he almost hooked the boat. Gets himself squared back away. Came right across the front of John Tomlinson as we go on board honeyparty.com. Flat out. Someone bounces on the inside. Keep on it, keep on it. As the boats make their way towards us, Keaton Outer Limits in the lead, the fantastic one in second place, third place, Fountain Worldwide, fourth place, honeyparty.com. As they make their way across the front, oh, Pignolo 53 stands it on its tail. Centurion Yachts has a problem early and they are out on the sprint race here in Malta. Back on board the leaders, OSG, Keaton Outer Limits. They continue to lead. Second place, the Fantastic One. Third place, 
Found worldwide first for Boats.com as we look at the fantastic one running in second place. Oh, f me. Yeah, it's gone right the way across. All right, I think we just be very to idle back in. Switch the build comes on. Okay. Yeah, the deck is cracked all the way across. Oh, that was Richard Carr and HoneyParty.com. They have a terminal problem. They're saying the deck is cracked. They are done for the day. As we go back to our leader, Keaton, Outer Limits, they continue the lead, making their way around the sharp curve on the race course. Getting ready to put some traffic behind one lap. Well out in the lead, Keaton, Outer Limits. Oh, Pignolo 53 has an engine hatch that's come open. Oh, almost loses control, stands the boat up on its tail. Nice recovery by Pignolo 53. All over the place, trying to carry speed as we go on board Cranfield's Wines. GFN Giabalato currently running in fifth position. Oh, the fantastic one. Looks like they have slowed down. There is something going on on board the cigarette. The rough water's taking their toll. Pignolo 53 has a problem and they are done. That is gonna put Found Worldwide first for Boats.com in second place. Here comes your leader to take the checkered flag. Keaton Outer Limits will take two in a row in Malta. As they get past the damaged boat of the fantastic one on the final straightaway. Tremendous run by the Outer Limits team. Keaton Outer Limits. Let's take a look at the sprint results for the Evolution class. In first place, it's Keaton Outer Limits. Second place, Fountain Worldwide, first for Boats.com. Third goes to the Fantastic One. I want to uh, recognize uh, the capability of uh, Matis Group and uh, Outer Limits Group. They flight here in Malta one week ago. They changed something in the boat. The boat is perfect for this kind of rough water. Joe was perfect. And uh, I think uh, it's a very, very pretty good weekend. See you next time when the Powerboat P1 World Championship visits another new venue and another new continent as the competitors head to North Africa for the Tunisian Grand Prix of the Sea.